Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, consider subscribing. Also check out my ECS and Amazon affiliate link down below. Today's video will be a little different video. I don't normally do videos like this. I'm gonna go over how I wash my car and common mistakes to avoid when washing your car. I will be showing this all off on my BMW F10 just because the paint is much nicer than my E46. I really am into detailing. I just have not made any videos yet. So here's my first video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you wanna see more detailing videos. I will have all the products I'm about to show you linked down below. If you guys have any questions about detailing, also drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. So taking a look at everything I use to wash my car, most important thing is we have a mitt and we also have uh, a way of drying it. So here are the two buckets I'm using. Doesn't matter what buckets you use, just make sure that you have grit guards at the bottom. Very important so all the dirt goes to the bottom. I actually have something in here we're just going to scrape out real quick, but very important. Doesn't matter. These are chemical guys. I will have these ones linked down below, but any bucket will work with grit guards. The other thing that's very important and a super easy way to up your detailing game is using a foam cannon such as this one. This one, um, I actually got sent out to me. It's a great foam cannon. I've been using their V1 and they actually contacted me, which I bought the V1, they contacted me asking if I wanted their V3. So th this is their V3. It's a company called MATCC. So super good foam cannon, really like the design. It's very big. This one's actually, um, I think more made for trucks, but I like it with the super wide nozzle crazy foam out of this. I'm using a small electric pressure washer and crazy, crazy foam paired with um, Chemical Guys Mr. Pink Shampoo. This stuff is awesome, creates very good suds and you really want suds. Suds is what's gonna pull the dirt off and reduce scratching, so super good combination. This company, MATCC or MATCC, sent me out this short pressure washer handle, which is super good for the foam cannon makes it super easy to link up. I really like using a short one versus using a super long one where the foam cannon sticks about back about two feet and you have to stretch your arms to reach to the end of it to adjust it. So super good combination using these two together paired with the shampoo. Now, a rookie mistake would just be using a foam cannon and then scrubbing the car with a mitt. Definitely if you're going to use a mitt, in a foam cannon, make sure you're using two bucket method. If you're just going to use a foam cannon and not touch the mitt, that's okay too. You don't, if your car is not that dirty, your car ceramic coated, I could advise just using a foam cannon. Moving on to some other stuff that I love, let's take a look at the wheels. Guys, this stuff is a godsend. I just started using it. It's called Iron X by CarPro and this stuff changes the game when it comes to washing your car and wheels. You can use this on your car and wheels and basically, it finds any iron or metals that are on your wheels and it changes the color once it finds it. So you'll see when I demonstrated that it changes from this clear color to purple, purple reddish color and it takes off anything. My inner barrels were so dirty when I first got my F10. Even the place, the dealership couldn't even take off some of this, the grime. This stuff takes it right off, no scrubbing needed and oh my God, guys, this stuff, I'll have it linked down below with everything else. God sent, best stuff I've ever used to date and I just found out about it. So any sort of iron remover, but specifically the one made by CarPro. This one is the grape scent. They do make a lemon one. Beware, the scent is uh, kind of strong, so. Next thing that I used to actually clean the tires and leave a very shiny look to my tires is Meguiar's Shine Foam. Love this stuff, I'm actually running out. O only thing I'd have to say with this, don't do this in your driveway, do it on the street somewhere where you don't care about because you are going to have marks on the driveway for a while. A couple other things that are a godsend that I use. If After we're gonna clean the glass, this is the by far the best glass cleaner I've ever found. I will have this link down. So I always use this glass cleaner. It is a ammonia-free glass cleaner, leaves no streaks, paired with this waffle towel that I have everything on. Waffle towel, game changer too to wash your windows. No streaks every single time, looks perfect. Now this product I use after I wash the car when I'm wiping the car down, I do use a leaf blower to get some of the water off and I do have to use a towel. This stuff is great because it reduces the chances of you scratching your car by keeping the surface lubricated, reduces the chances. So this is what I use after wash by Chemical Guys, reduces the chances of the car being scratched. And a couple other things that I will be using is just a spray wax from Chemical Guys. I don't really feel like doing a full wax today. So just a quick detailer wax, which works great. Have to have these to clean the, the rims, super good. I love these two combinations together. I use this more on the tire and I use this on the inner part and in the barrel of the rim. And then the last thing that I like to use on plastic and vinyl is this 303 aerospace protector. This stuff is great. I just found out about this stuff too and it works phenomenal. So 
Let's get on with the process. We're gonna fill up two buckets, one with water and one with shampoo and water. And literally you need like three squirts of this stuff. This stuff is super, super strong. So don't feel like you need to put a lot. It, this stuff is super, super concentrated. And that's gonna be another rookie mistake. Some people go way too heavy with the soap. No need, you can if you wanna waste the product, but this stuff is highly concentrated. So the next thing to do is rinse the car off. You guys are using a pressure washer, great way to do it. If not, you can use your garden hose. We're gonna start by rinsing the top and working our way down to rinse all the dirt and debris that's already on the surface. We wanna push that down. After that, we're gonna wash the wheels. Always start with washing the wheels first and always rinse the car from top to bottom. Having a short pressure washer handle is awesome. I really enjoy having it. it. Makes it makes washing the car so much easier. So we're gonna start by washing this wheel. I'm going to spray it down with the Car Pro Iron X and you'll watch it change colors and then we'll scrub it off and pressure wash it and amazing. You'll see in a second. I took you guys off the tripod so you can see obviously the rotors are going to have a lot but my rims weren't too dirty you can see it only turns purple where it finds the iron which is super cool I definitely recommend doing this stuff one at a time because it can dry on it but look at that it looks awesome seeing all that purple just shows me how dirty my wheels are and it comes off like butter I don't have to do any scrubbing so let's rinse this off and then I will show you guys how I wash my car. I'm not gonna show you all four rims just because we're just gonna show this one single rim. It does have some curb rash. Hopefully gonna get these repaired or powder coated. I bought the car like this, unfortunately, so. The other thing that I like to use that I forgot to mention is I do use Diablo wheel cleaner and I use that to clean the actual tire. So if I just spray some around. Now this stuff doesn't react. So if you want something a little less harsh on your wheels, this is just Diablo wheel cleaner diluted in this bottle. So then I take this green handled brush and I just scrub it around. So I want to show you another rim that was super bad. This was my rear rim and look how purple it changed crazy to show all the iron and contaminants it pulled out with no scrubbing at all. Now it's time to rinse the car off one more time before we use the foam cannon and two bucket method. So I'm gonna rinse it off again from top to bottom. Now with the car sprayed down, it's time to connect our foam cannon to our pressure washer. This is um, Mr. Pink soap as well in here and this is only like two to three drops, probably little big drops. And I don't even fill it up all the way because this foam can is so big, there's no need to. So we're gonna spray the car down and then we are gonna get our wash mitt out. And the other thing I forgot to mention is the pressure washer I'm using. I'm using a Greenworks pressure washer. It's only about 1600 PSI, so nothing crazy. These foam cannons are rated to go all the way up to like 35, or I think even more on some of them. So um, it works fine with my electric one. And I, I live in a condo, so having an electric one is perfect, super portable, super easy to use. All right, with the car fully foamed up, the suds are crazy. We're gonna take our wash mitt and we are gonna dip it into the soap. We are gonna, when we work the panels, we're gonna go across one way. We're not gonna go in circles, just go across the paint as you'll see. And then after every panel or a couple passes, we're gonna dip it in the rinse bucket. It's very, very important that you guys only go back and forth on the paint. Do not go in swirls or in circles, and that will help reduce swirl marks that are put into your paint, especially on a dark color car like this.
I like to wash the side skirts and bumper last just to keep dirt and other contaminations from getting in other places in the paint. Usually the bottom of the car is the most dirtiest, so I'm going to clean the side skirts and the bumpers now. All right, guys, that's really it. That is how I wash my car. We're going to rinse it down again, working from the top to the bottom. As I mentioned earlier, um, if you guys, if it is very hot, you can do panel by panel, but it doesn't seem to be too hot today. And it's still pretty sunny, so we're gonna go from the top to the bottom. And there's no secrets. This is how, this is how you should wash your car, and this is how you're gonna reduce the most swirls. And this is how you're gonna reduce putting the most swirls in your paint. I'm sure there's some better techniques, but this is what I do. If you guys have any comments, obviously let me know, but let's um, wash down the car and then we will um, put some spray wax on and clean up the wheels. So the next thing to do is dry the car off. If you have a leaf blower, you can use a leaf blower to help it or very high quality microfiber towel with some sort of drying aid. Drying aid really helps to um, eliminate getting swirls in the paint. So we're gonna try to leaf blow it till we get off and then we're gonna dry it and then finally we're gonna wash the windows. That's always the last step I do. Is mostly dry. Um, I did want to mention the leaf blower that I use. It's an Ego. It's 530 CFM. Really good electric leaf blower that I like using to dry my car off. And even if you go to a self wash that you do yourself, the pressure washer, always good to have one of these to um, dry off the car. It helps reduce swirls. We are going to hit it with a microfiber just a little bit because there's stuff on the hood and the trunk in the roof. But other than that, the car is pretty dry. So we're going to do that with the drying aid. And dry down the hood. We're gonna take some afterwash. And just gonna take some afterwash and just you don't need to go overboard with it. And then dry the towel off. If your towel does have a tag, try to hold it, and keep it away from the car because that could scrap. Alright, so now one of the final steps is to wash the glass. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, I do usually lift these up and get the wash mitt under them. I don't actually pull them up because in this car I have to get in it and put it in a system and it pops them up. So that's the only reason why I didn't do it, but um, there's a special mode for it on the BMW F10. You have to key, I think, in just position one and click the wiper down once and it brings them up and then you can pull. But I didn't do that, so we're going to spray and then using this spray, spray away in a waffle weave towel must have a waffle weave towel to leave no streaks. That's my recipe that I found that that's the only way you get no streaks, this formula, so. All right, so the second to last thing to do is we are going to do a spray wax on the car. Not going to do a full wax, it is getting late, so we're going to do a spray wax. This is the spray wax that I'm using. It's called P40 Detailer, and it's basically a sprayable carnauba wax, and it works pretty good and it leaves a very nice finish.
All right, it is getting very dark, but before I close out this video, I just have to say, if you guys are getting into detailing your car and do not own a foam cannon, or they make ones for hoses, but if you have pressure washers, they're better, get a foam cannon. The foam cannon is a huge game changer. Here's the one that I'm using. Like I mentioned, it's called Matt CC. It works great. I love the way it works. No complaints. Don't go out and spend a hundred plus dollars on a foam cannon. They're not worth it. Go back, pick this up from Amazon. I will have this link below. I'll have everything else that I use in this video linked below. If you guys have any recommendations for me, I'd love to hear them too. All right, guys, it is getting super dark up. Let me bring my phone out and just show you guys around the car. The paint isn't perfect. There is still swirls, obviously, because I didn't do a paint correction, but it looks so good with the spray wax. It came out phenomenal. So highly recommend doing a spray wax. Came out wonderful. If you can, I would go with the wet butter from Chemical Guys and do a full wax, but it was running out of time, it's getting dark, so not tonight, but definitely something I'll link in the description, but the paint looks pretty good. I'm gonna do a full paint correction or remove all the swirls and then ceramic coat this. So if you guys wanna see a video on that, let me know. All right guys, so it is time to close out the video. If you guys like this video, the style video, give this video a huge thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I will have more BMW related content on the way. Also check out my Amazon and ECS affiliate link, as well as all the items I linked down below that were used in this video. That's all I have for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.